What's going on YouTube, Chiasno right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about whether you should stay on iOS 12.4, 12.3.1, 12.2, and so on, and be jailbroken or wait for a jailbreak on a firmware that is iOS 12.x, or you should update to iOS 13 beta. And the reason I'm making this video is that the answer is not really a yes or a no. It's actually based on your use cases. It's actually based on what you want to do, how much do you want a jailbreak, what do you use a jailbreak for? So unfortunately, there isn't really really a no or yes answer. So we're going to talk about this in this video. You probably know that at this moment iOS 12.4 is the only version signed by Apple that you can downgrade to if you update to iOS 13 beta. But with that said, many people ask me whether they should update iOS 13 or stay on iOS 12.4 or 12.3.1 or 12.3 in order to wait for a jailbreak. Now, as I said, it highly depends on what you use a jailbreak for. For example, my personal use case for a jailbreak are getting dark mode, uh, getting a different volume HUD, adding Safari options, for example, to download files or to have various features in Safari. So that's basically what I use a jailbreak for and possibly some light theming as well. Now, fortunately, if these are also your main use cases for a jailbreak, the iOS 13 already contains that. It has a new look, it has a new volume HUD, it has dark mode built in and it has a lot of features that are definitely worth trying. So I would definitely not blame you if you wanted to update to iOS 13 to see what is all this craze about. Because yes, it is actually quite a good operating system. I've been running iOS 13 beta on my personal device for quite a while now. It's a device that I don't usually jailbreak, so I wasn't exactly worried I wouldn't be able to jailbreak it. But yeah, aside from a few bugs here and there, even the Geekbench score was actually quite big. It was actually above the average for my iPhone 7 Plus. So definitely a very good operating system. And even though there are a few bugs here and there, those will probably be updated. But now there is sign in with Apple. The Apple card is supported on iOS 13. And I see a lot of people are receiving their Apple cards by now. Now that's not something that I would get, but if you would get that, then you probably need iOS 13 for it. As far as I know, there are enhancements to maps. There are enhancements to many applications like the reminders, the notes. There is also swipe type, which many people wanted for quite a lot of time. It used to be a thing on Windows Phone. It used to be a thing on Android, but not on iOS. And it's now finally available. So with all these changes, you can definitely expect people to want to update at that point, especially since the performance of iOS 13 is definitely great and it's even faster than the iOS 12 as they state in here. So yeah, there are definitely reasons to update to iOS 13 if you really want to. And of course, if a jailbreak is much more important for you and if you want to get these features are in here through a jailbreak, you can definitely do so. Apple did not introduce anything on iOS 13 that can't be obtained through a jailbreak, but of course, iOS 13 has many of these features natively. And if you get them through a jailbreak, you might have instabilities here and there because you have to rely on a jailbreak. You have to rely on tweaks, which can have bugs and so on. So there are trade-offs in both directions. And of course, I cannot tell you exactly go on iOS 13 or stay on whatever version. But if you are more interested in the features of the iOS 13 and they look good to you and you think you can survive without a jailbreak, but with these features in here, then your best bet is to probably update to iOS 13, see how it is. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to iOS 12.4. iOS 12.4 will definitely stay signed at least until September when iOS 13 would be completely out. So there's no problem in there. And for iOS 12.4, we already have a TFP0 exploit that has been achieved, but not published for the moment because it hasn't been patched. We expect it to be patched in iOS 13 or a 12.4.1 one if it's going to be the case. So for the moment, iOS 12.4 is definitely jailbreakable in the future, but so is iOS 13. If you remember, Sparky posted a CDS screenshot running on iOS 13. Back on iOS 13, beta 1 was published. So the jailbreak for iOS 13 is already achieved by Sparky, a huge developer in our community. And of course, he worked with QWERTY Worry Apps, which is basically look at the desco, and they managed to exploit and jailbreak the iOS 13. So both iOS 13 beta 
Nvidia and iOS 12.4 are jailbreakable, at least privately for the moment. So if you really, really, really want to go to iOS 13 to have a preview of how it looks like, then you can definitely do so, but you should keep in mind that for iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3, there are a little bit more vulnerabilities for the moment, although also private because iOS 12.3.1 and 12.4 do share the same security contents. So when a jailbreak for iOS 12.3.1 will be out, it will also work for 12.4. So at this point, as I said, if you want to stay and wait for a jailbreak, you can stay on 12.3 or 12.3.1 or even 12.4 is the same thing. But if you really, really want to check out iOS 13, just to see if you like it, it's not going to be a huge mistake if you do it right now. And if you make sure to downgrade back to 12.4 before it's too late, if you don't like iOS 13. But yeah, as I said, iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 and 12.4 do seem to have the same security contents in terms of the kernel. There are other vulnerabilities that have been patched in 12.4, but those are not exactly very useful for jailbreaking. The iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 and 12.4 TFP0 exploits that exist have not been patched. And only do this update if you are remotely thinking that iOS 13 might suffice for your jailbreak needs. For example, the dark mode, the Safari enhancements it has, for example, you can download now in Safari, and the files, there's the files application which allows you to manage your files. Well, it's not exactly files up, but it does work. You can download files, you can send them through email, you can unpack them, compress them, and so on. As always, I will keep you updated on the channel of course, you have to subscribe and activate the notifications by clicking the bell and selecting to get all the notifications and not the personalized thing. And I will keep you updated here on the channel with anything that is going on. But as I said, if you want to try iOS 13 to see if it suffices for your jailbreak needs, you can do so at least until September when iOS 12.4 will likely stop being signed. But as I said, only do this if you think you can survive with stock iOS but with dark mode and swipe type and so on. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.